Craftco, pioneering leadership and innovation in quality pavement maintenance equipment and materials. Craftco video operations manual for joint and crack sealing procedures, featuring the Easy Pour diesel melter applicators. Please follow the instructions outlined in this program for the proper operation of the Craftco Easy Pour diesel melter applicators. Do not attempt to operate this equipment without first reading the accompanying written manual thoroughly. Craftco, its distributors, and its agents assume no liability for accident or injury incurred through improper use of this equipment. The Craftco Easy Pour diesel melter applicators have been designed to heat and apply various sealants, roofing materials, and to provide waterproofing. The Easy Pour diesel melters have the following standard features. Vat capacities of 100, 200, or 350 gallons. A double boiler type construction of the material tank. A diesel burner with a maximum heat input of 275,000 BTUs. Automatic burner and temperature control. A two or three cylinder diesel engine, depending upon the specific model. The drive mechanism is all hydraulic with infinite speed forward and reverse action. A full sweep mixer with two blades. A large capacity diesel fuel tank. And skid and trailer mount units are available. The Easy Pour diesel melters were developed to melt Craftco brand sealants, but work equally well with all asphalt and federal specification products. Additional options include custom colors, toolbox and fire extinguisher fender mounts, traffic control lighting packages, dual loading doors for large scale application, an engine mounted automatic cutoff solenoid that shuts down the engine and burner when trouble is sensed, an automatic safety brake activator in case of decoupling, a pour pot spout for hand application needs, and a custom mounted air compressor for cleaning joints and cracks. Additional custom options can be developed by our staff of mechanical engineers at Craftco, the world's largest supplier of diesel melter applicators. This video manual will cover the features and operating procedures for the Easy Pour diesel models 100, 200, and 350 melter applicators. Extreme care should be exercised when operating this equipment. During operation, the burner unit can generate heat up to 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature of some parts of the machine and sealant material may reach 500 degrees. It is important to always wear protective clothing, gloves, and eye protection. Safety is no accident. It is the result of proper training and always thinking about what you're doing. Pay special attention to the procedures outlined in this program for the safe and effective use of the Craftco Easy Pour diesel melter applicators. First, some important safety precautions. Observe all caution and warning signs posted on the machine. They have been placed there for your protection and help you to operate the unit properly. Do not allow water to enter the machine. Water will displace the heat transfer oil and sealant and could become hazardous at operating temperatures. Never leave the melter applicator unattended at any time when the burner is lit. Never operate the machine in a closed building or confined area. Immediately replace any hose that shows any signs of wear, fraying, or splitting with factory approved replacements. Be sure that all fittings and joints are tight and leak proof. Important the use of non-approved replacement parts will void your warranty. Regular visual inspection will ensure your safety and provide for excellent service. Thoroughly read and understand the written manual before operating the machine. And always keep a fire extinguisher close to the unit in case of emergency. These primary safety precautions should always be followed. Further operations, precautions, and procedures will be outlined in the remainder of this video manual. The Easy Pour diesel melter applicators are designed so that no direct flames touch the sealant material. There are four systems that interact. They are the heating oil for melting of the sealant material, the hydraulic fluid lines and pumps, the design of the sealant flow, 
and the diesel fuel that feeds the engine and burner. The burner thermostatically controls the temperature of the heating oil automatically. Once you set the control dial to a desired setting, a double boiler design allows the heating oil to circulate around the sealant material. The engine drives a hydraulic system that powers the agitator and sealant pump. The system has been designed to keep the temperature of the sealant material constant, thus providing you with a consistent, even flow of properly heated sealant material. Prior to startup, check all hoses and connections for any damage that may have occurred during shipping. They were inspected at the factory, but it is a good idea to make sure that all connections are tightened properly and that hoses are in good operating condition. Once the machine is placed in service, perform a thorough inspection at least once a week. Next, check the engine. Refer to the engine operation manual for oil and technical specifications. Be sure to establish a regular maintenance schedule. The engine powers all pumps that circulate hot oil and sealant material. Poor mechanical performance will decrease the effectiveness of the material application. Additional pre-start procedures that should be performed are the following. Inspect the hydraulic fluid level. Check the level of the heat transfer oil. Be sure not to overfill. The oil expands during heat up and could overflow. And make sure that all valves are in the closed position. Refer to the written manual for recommended oils, fluids, and service intervals. By establishing good pre-start procedures to check fluid levels and machine components, you will ensure safe and effective application of sealant material. Once the pre-start procedures are complete, startup and operating of the EasyPort diesel melter applicator should be performed as follows. First, some important maintenance information on the 12-volt burner blower unit. The unit is made up of several components that are designed to deliver safe operation of the melter. Fuel nozzles need to be checked and cleaned regularly to ensure proper flow. The gap for the fuel igniter should be calibrated for proper spark and ignition of the diesel fuel. The transformer that generates the spark for the electrodes has to receive and deliver proper voltages. The fuel pump pressure needs to be constant for the burner to stay lit. The CAD cell must sense a flame for the unit to operate. If the machine has been run dry of fuel and the safety cutoff solenoid has shut down the burner unit, the bleeder valve may need to be opened to restore proper fuel flow to the nozzle. The burner blower is important to the operation of the melter and should be maintained and calibrated regularly. Refer to the burner supplemental information sheet for additional troubleshooting information. To begin the operating procedures, first fully open the damper vent. Check to make sure that the temperature dial is set to the off position. Then start the engine. Next, turn the temperature dial to the desired setting. The burner should ignite. If the burner does not ignite the first time, turn the temperature dial off. Then reset the dial to the on position and the burner should ignite. If the burner still fails to ignite, determine the cause of the malfunction. The thermostatically controlled burner should shut off automatically when the heating oil temperature reaches the desired setting. If the setting on the temperature dial is substantially different than the gauge, the temperature control system may need calibration. Refer to the owner's manual for proper recalibration procedures. Once the burner is lit, allow the heating oil to continue to heat. As the sealant reaches a liquid state, engage the agitator. Caution, to prevent damage and possible injury, do not allow the heating oil to exceed 525 degrees.
Once the sealant material temperature reaches the manufacturer's recommended application specifications, pumping of the material through the applicator wand can begin. The sealant material gauge is located on the top of the machine and indicates the temperature of the sealant in the main tank. First, open the recirculation valve. This allows the sealant to be pumped into the main tank. Make sure the main applicator valve is closed. This will shut off sealant flow to the hand applicator. Next, put the sealant pump into reverse or suction mode. When the material pump turns freely, reverse the pump to discharge the material back into the main tank. Open the main tank valve. Opening the main tank valve will allow the material to enter the sealant pump. When you have performed these procedures and you are sure the material is circulating freely, check the sealant pump gauge. The gauge is located above the pump to the rear of the machine and indicates sealant temperature only when material is flowing through the line. The Easy Pour diesel melter is now ready to start applying sealant. Remove and uncoil the hose from the heating chamber in the rear of the machine. Next, attach the hand applicator. Be sure to hand tighten only. Place the applicator nozzle in the rear tank opening with the hand applicator valve in the on position. Now, open the main applicator valve to allow sealant to enter the hose. Then close the recirculating valve to allow desired flow through the hand applicator. Adjust the valve to get the desired amount of flow from the applicator given your application needs. You do not need to close the valve all the way for application. The recirculation valve controls a positive displacement pump that circulates sealant material to the hand applicator, while at the same time pumping sealant into the main tank. After performing the operating procedures just outlined, it is time to start the application of material. Remove the hand applicator from the rear tank opening and begin applying the sealant. For sealing routed cuts, attach the optional shoe attachment to apply the material. Dragging the shoe lightly over the surface as you apply the sealant will fill the joint to the proper level. This will give you a finished joint that will not require any additional leveling or squeegeeing. If the hand applicator isn't going to be in use for an extended period of time, Place the applicator nozzle in the rear tank opening. Remove the shoe before attempting to place the applicator in the rear opening. Open the hand applicator valve and allow the material to circulate to keep the hose warm and unobstructed. Make sure that you are completely familiar with the startup and application procedures before attempting to operate the Easy Pour Diesel Melter Applicator. Thoroughly read and understand the written manual in addition to watching this program prior to operating the machine.
before loading solid material into the main tank, stop the agitator. This will prevent any hot material from splashing and burning the operator or damaging machine components. Lift the splash-proof lid and place the solid material on top. Closing the lid drops the material into the sealant tank safely. Make sure that the lid is completely closed before restarting the agitator. Solid material must be added at intervals that will allow the mixer to rotate without jamming. Trying to load too much material too quickly will result in slower melting time and impede the application process. Always exercise care when opening the lid to add or check the sealant material. During operation, the unit will operate at maximum efficiency if the sealant is maintained close to a full level. Shutdown procedures for the EasyPort diesel melter should be performed as follows. First, turn the temperature dial to the off position. Put the material pump into reverse or suction mode and close the recirculation valve. This removes sealant from the hose and returns the material to the main tank. Caution. Never disconnect the hand applicator from the hose if the sealant pump is in the discharge mode. Keep the pump in reverse until the main tank is closed. Now, with the hand applicator valve open, disconnect the nozzle from the hose and return them to the heating chamber. Next, close the applicator valve. Close the main tank valve and put the material pump in the neutral or off position. Then do the same with the agitator pump. Finally, stop the engine. For maximum productivity, fill the machine after shutdown for a more efficient startup the next day. By following the operating procedures outlined in this program, the EasyPort diesel melter applicators will provide you with the safest and most efficient sealant applicator on the market. Let's review the important points for the operation of the EasyPort diesels. One, establish a weekly inspection program to check all hoses and connections for wear or leakage. Use only genuine Craftco replacement parts. Two, Always wear protective clothing and gloves. Some exposed parts, heating oil, and sealant can cause serious injury. Three, refer to written owner's manual for specifications of heating and hydraulic oil. Four, do not allow water to enter the machine given the high operating temperatures. Five, never leave the machine unattended with the burner lit. Six, Always observe caution and warning signs posted on the machine. Seven, keep a fire extinguisher close to the machine in case of emergency. Eight, tighten all nuts and bolts after every 100 hours of operation. Nine, follow the operating instructions for starting and shutdown of the burner. Instructions are mounted on the control box. Ten, 
read and understand the accompanying written manual before operating the machine. Pay special attention to the regular maintenance schedules outlined in the manual. The Craftco EasyPort diesel melter applicators have been designed for years of quality service. Make sure that you are thoroughly familiar with the procedures for starting and shutdown of the machine. Always clean out the machine completely if you change the brand of sealant material and never mix brands or grades of sealant. Please refer to the owner's manual for additional maintenance and material specifications. You can expect excellent service and effective material application with the EasyPort diesel melter applicators if you follow the instructions and procedures shown in this video manual. The EasyPort diesel melter applicators, delivering the quality and performance you have come to expect from Craftco products. For information, assistance, or parts, call your local Craftco representative or our main office at area code 602-276-0406 or toll free at 1-800-528-8242.